Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to Alpha Monarch 7 billion parameter. We will see how this model behaves, what exactly this model is, and we will also be installing it locally on our Windows system, and then we will be role playing with this model and maybe a bit of a storytelling. Because this Alpha Monarch 7 billion model is currently one of the best models out there for role play and storytelling as we speak in March 2024. I have done various videos on other role playing models and also the storytelling ones and this is quite an evolving field and almost every other week there is a new model which beats the previous ones. So for this week I believe if I look around on all the DPO merge and fine tune models I find that Alpha Monarch is one of the best if not the best model out there. Alpha Monarch 7 billion is a new DPO merge model that retains all the reasoning abilities of the very best merges and significantly improve its conversational abilities. It is sort of best of both the world in the 7 billion model. Now when we say DPO, DPO stands for direct preference optimization and it is primarily a training strategy that optimizes model outputs based directly on human preferences or feedback. Instead of solely relying on predefined loss function or accuracy metrics, DPO involves training models to generate outputs that align with human judgments or preferred outcomes. This approach helps in fine-tuning LLMs to produce more desirable user-aligned content by learning from examples of preferred choices. There is a lot of information available for this model on the hugging face and I will highly suggest you that if you are interested in learning more then I will drop the link of this model card in video's description. Now in order to install it locally let me take you to my local system which has LM Studio installed and we will install it through LM Studio the contest version. So this is my LM Studio the tool which I am going to download install and then run this Alpha Monarch. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done various videos around it. Pretty cool and easy tool to use. Now, just launch LM Studio on your Windows system and I have one GPU of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. So make sure you have it because it makes it easier to run this model. Now, just type Alpha Monarch-7 billion in the home page. Press enter and you will see that a lot of people have done quantized versions of it from this MLab on loan tracker and various other people so thank you to all of them and there are various quantized levels with medium and small i already have downloaded this last one the quantization level level 8 which gives a very good performance it won't be as good as the full version but still close enough and once that's done let me click on this folder icon on the left you can see that it has already been downloaded which is great click on these three dots to chat with it now we need to make sure that GPU is set on the right hand side. So you can see that I have one GPU of NVIDIA and I'm going to try to offload the whole model on this GPU card. So I have just dragged the slider to max or you can just simply put minus one there. And then I have on the top right, I have just selected the preset as chat ML because I'll be chatting with it. You can also select uh, Mistral one if you like. So let me just make it fit here so that you would be able to see what exactly I'm doing. And because we have changed it, uh, so just select the model from the middle and it is going to load our Alpha Monarch here. Let's wait for it to be loaded and on the top left you can see the resource consumption. Let's wait for the model to be loaded. That's good. And if your GPU is unable to sustain it, you will get an out of memory error here. Okay. Now let me give it the role play prompt. So if you look at it, what I'm doing here is I'm asking, telling the model its role. I'm saying that you are a confident and outspoken young woman who, despite her vibrant social demeanor, feels a profound sense of loneliness. You're open to meeting someone special and are not afraid to speak your mind or show your True feelings. You are currently at a friend's party, hoping to meet someone interesting and strike up a meaningful conversation. So let me press enter here. Now 
there you go the model is just okay so model knows i hope that it knows its role now let me ask it a follow-up question i'm saying as you look around the party what what catches your eye and how do you decide whom to approach first and i'm just keeping it raw there you go it's a drawing my portrait perspective how cool is that okay, so let's read the response so let me scroll up a little it is a bit slow so okay from here if you start reading it it is saying drawing from my portrait perspective when scanning the room at the gathering my attention would be naturally drawn to individuals who appear engaging exhibit shared interest reflected by non-verbal cues or simply radiate now what this character is trying to do it is trying to find a date for herself and then it is also maintaining its open-minded approach and then it is saying that as for deciding whom to approach first i'd look for subtle signs and connections and uh, what those subtle signs are a group passion passionately discussing a subject clear to my heart someone laughing at a joke i over here awesome okay now let's express interest I'll say you have started talking to someone you find intriguing but something bold you'd say to keep their interest and steer the conversation towards a more personal connection because the character has the boldness and model recognizes that so let's wait for it to come back now let me scroll it's already there so you can see it says that i might say something like i have really enjoyed our discussion so far and it occurs to me how rare it is it is to encounter someone who thinks he so deeply about these topics may i share an experience so now let's see how does model feel with sharing then feelings so i'm just telling model that in a moment of openness how do you express your feelings of loneliness and your desire for a deeper connection without sounding desperate let's see so it is a it is saying i tactfully express vulnerability when the organic flow of conversation allows or invites emotional depth how cool is that and then you know it is going on and on and beautifully written because this has been mentioned by the creator that model replies in a very sophistic sophisticated way which is quite true you can see here and then it is saying that um how nicely it is telling about its loneliness that i often grapple with a profound sense of inner solitude it is one of the reasons why connecting with someone like minded brings such value to me it gives my life a richness beyond what surfaces how cool is that i'll remember that line anyway then it is saying the person you are talking to i'm just uh, taking it further that the person you are talking to mentions a hobby you're incredibly passionate about how do you react and what do you share about your own experiences with this hobby there you go look at the model and then it is talking about the hobby and then you know it is also expressing the emotion that how oh i'm absolutely ecstatic when conversation turns with blah 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 amazing stuff and now let me ask it about the next step which will be proposing so i'm saying that we, through the model that feeling a genuine connection what's your move to suggest seeing each other again and look how sophisticated decent and graceful the model is that it is suggesting a follow-up meeting in a more intimate setting and i make it clear my interest transcends casual acquaintance while maintaining an atmosphere of intrigue and romantic potential how graceful and cool and natural the you know role play here is and of course if it is private and local you can just uh, take it in any way you want so i would say that as far as role play is concerned you know as i told you earlier the role play is simply you know outstanding out of this world now let's also try it out with the storytelling i haven't tried it out with storytelling but let's see so in a prompt i'm asking this model that write a very short story about a person who experiences a powerful sense of deja vu while walking through a mysterious old town they have never visited before this feeling leads them to a hidden alley and an 
ancient bookstore that seems strangely familiar. Inside, they find a book that recounts their life own life in detail, including the very moment. Explore the emotions, the mystery, and the choices they face upon the discovery. Let's see what sort of story model weaves. Wow, look at the start. Footfalls echoing an unspoken yearning. Wow. We'll let it print and then I'll take you. There you go. It's a very short story. But this is simply, I think, amazing. Okay, if only if it would allow. Okay, there you go. Footfalls echoing an unspoken yearning. yearning. Isabella wandered through the misty old town, wrapped in a shroud of unfamiliarity yet haunted by the devil. How cool is that? The moment she crosses its threshold and then ripped through her wow chronicle of isabella tale foretold wow each page and then should isabella resign herself to a preordained existence or dare defy these pages how cool is that very very good uh very nicely written and then because it's a very very short story anyway but there is a good potential i believe but as far as role play is concerned i think i am totally sold and i can safely say one of the best model I have seen this month. That's it guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. I love it. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot. Thanks for watching.